Frankie Martino. I'm gonna find out who did it. What? You saying you don't know? Frankie's death has opened something in Vincent that he feels he has to defend. Who's that dark haired guy, 366? This is igniting the fires of revenge in his heart. Whatever it is you're going to do, this isn't who you are. Okay. He's so deep in grieving. He's just blind to any sort of reasoning. Boo, shithead. Our source, he told us all these stories in the beginning. Now get in the back. He was changing shirts at a meeting with us, and you saw the scars. And you realized this was not such a benign, behind the bar life for all of it. You couldn't hang around in the industries and with the people he hung around with and not have it go wrong once in a while. You take a human life, it's a big line to cross. It's probably a really dumb move, but in the moment, he can't see anything but red. I love you. When I was researching this storyline, I spoke to some relatives of mine who are nurses, and one of whom dealt directly with the AIDS crisis in New York. One of the things that she said really inspired the storyline. As AIDS patients' health began to deteriorate, at that time, their partners had no legal standing in their lives. We can't release him in this condition. Not to you. Like many people did, Paul has to contact Todd's actual family, his parents, to come to New York to sign the papers and send him home where he can die peacefully. Thanks, sir. It showcases that dynamic and the lack of acceptance between you know parents and their children when it came to this community, and also the hope for redemption or reconnection. Hi, Dad. It's Paul. Porn ruined burlesque. Why would you go see somebody getting undressed? What remained for the sort of live theaters was for porn stars to go and appear. It was a subtext of fans who would go there. I saw your films, and now you're here proving to me that you're alive. The high of being on stage and being praised and having everyone clap for her, I think, is actually really exciting to her. But then in the process, she starts to get very paranoid and unsafe feeling because she's never been alone. I thought it was you. <laughs> Do you mind if I, um... I was actually, I was just leaving. What she begins to see is there is still that sense that I'm available for the right price. She doesn't want that. Hey, Lori Madison. Shit. Where are you going, Lori? She begins to distort the reality. Lori. <laughs> we don't ever show him actually pursuing her. <laughs> Lori. Hopefully, the audience begins to sort of live inside her head. Open the goddamn door! <laughs> 